No, I think it was 1.17. And for some odd reason, uh, since 1.17, copper has always gained a new use every version since it was released. The only thing that it's missing now is just copper tools and copper armor. That's all it's missing. But that's pretty much it, right? Like, it has different crafting recipes. It has tools that you can make with it. And the whole works, right? But yet, the one thing that it technically... Another village. That's another village. Cool. An another village close to Sancturia? Wow, Sancturia is in, like, a good spot then. It's close to, like, three villages. But anyway, uh, like since, since Copper's release kind of thing, though, like it's been getting a new thing each and every version, though. But the last order that was added before that was Emerald, and Emerald didn't have any uses. It was just a really rare ore. And then they gave it to Villager Trades. That was it. That's all they gave to Emeralds, for the most part. And then when uh, villagers got very overpowered, though, it kind of also gave emeralds such a high usage. Which is why for, like, a lot of servers that I ended up making, I always made, like, emerald just, like, the overall currency. Just to give emeralds that sort of, like, attention that it really needed. Not seeing anything over here. All right. I go there, but I don't think the I don't think the desert temples actually have a chance of giving you uh, what's it called uh, emeralds. Although these sometimes give you some good stuff too. Wheat. Don't ask me why I almost just like ran away without grabbing the wheat. I have no answer for you. How much longer till the chest? There we go. Uh, emeralds. Okay, so these actually do give you emeralds. And wait, that's cool. What's an azalea tree? Yeah, so, like, obviously, like, one of the things that you could definitely tell off of Sanctuaria that it definitely did change was I did get rid of all of the, all of the trees and such like that. I already mentioned that I didn't like how the trees were, so I changed it. So I gave, like, this little, like, little rocks and stuff like that, little bushes here and there. I might have made them too close together. But I don't really care because that actually does look really nice, though. It looks a lot better than what it did before is pretty much what I'm trying to get at. And that's going to be where I stash my bees kind of thing. And I'm going to try and make the bee over here, though. The only thing is that, like, I don't want it to be on the server necessarily. Because if the bees were to leave, let's say they're more attracted to the flowers that are down there, I'm going to lose them. And these are bees that I've had since 1.15. So I want to keep them, you know? But. And I do want to put like a little bit of a, a little apiary kind of thing like over here. Like it would be kind of cool though. Just have like some more like little buzzing over here. Kind of thing. I want to see if there's a type of bee that that likes to put their nests above, um, is above the right word I'm trying to think of? Like on hill, hill, on hillsides kind of thing. Because if there are, is a type of bee that actually does do that, I'll just make my bees sort of like that kind of, uh, 
I'll just play around that it's actually that type of bee that likes to have its hive on the side of hills and cliffs and stuff like that. It's my bed. Get your own bed. I hate it though. Out of here. Stop going on my bed. You make your own damn bed. No! Stop going on my bed. My bed. Yeah, get out of here. Stay away from my bed. There. My bed. Probably like, you stole my bed. It's my bed. Get out of here. You even have the trade that I like? Maybe I might share my bread bed with you. No, you can go away. Depending on the trade you had, I might I might I might have been willing to share my bed with you, but no. You are the cartographer, okay. You're not the cartographer that I'm going to be talking to for the most part. What about you? You are a Fletcher. You do not have trades that I like, but the cool thing about the Fletcher is that you can get a lot. If you have something called Tree Capitator, which we do have. I gotta find the Fletcher table though. There it is. All right. Mine. Come on. Wait, what? Is there another one? Is there two of those buildings then? Is there two of the buildings then? Or no? Oh no, he just didn't register it. 32 sticks is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Probably not what I'm looking for, though, but hey. I do want that trade, though, to be locked. So give me one second, buddy. This is probably another good one, too. No, we don't want you to have the stick of justice. No, we're not giving you the stick of justice. No, we're not giving you the stick of justice. That thing's too powerful for to, to be in your hands. It's even more powerful to be in my hands, too. Let me just put this back. Don't be despawned. Don't, don't. Don't you dare revert. Oh, your trade is like. Did somebody get attacked? Anyway, I don't think I have enough. Maybe I have enough wheat for that one guy. Oh, wait. Hang on. Are you a wheat trade? You're not a wheat trade. Are you a wheat trade? You're not a wheat trade. Are you a wheat trade? You are a wheat trade. Nice, thank you. Okay, let's see if I can get that one guy to. To have enough specifically to go get me that uh, tricky trial map. <sighs> there we go. Ocean Explorer map. Glass panes is not too bad, actually, of a trade. But I think that's going to be as far as I'm going to go with this. I think I'm mostly just going to go start trying to... Trying to get it in a different method, maybe. Wait, is it a, is it a Tier 3 or Tier 2 trade? That's probably what I need to know. Villager trade rebalance. No, I don't care about that right now. Cartographer. Okay, that's not really what I'm looking for though. Cartographer, no, no, blah, 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 nope, 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 nope.
Maybe we need to go to cartographer, maybe. Okay, so one more level. It will give me an idea of what I need. Okay, so I need to go through blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's see here. So we have glass panes. Looks like default quantity is 11. Okay. So it's like we won't be able to get anywhere different than that. Okay. I'm surprised though that they don't have uh, like a villager trade that they will take uh, like kelp of all things. That made me hungry. I am hungry. Wait, do I just not take any damage from arrows or something like that? No. It looked like the arrow went through me for some odd reason. Alright, time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Yeah, and I, my knockback resistance is like, like all the way up, pretty much. Uh, I gotta head back to home. Home's over this way. I believe. I think. Going all the way up. And heading back down. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. There you go. I am hungry. Alright. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. Perfect. I think the one villager I need to find, I think is a, I think it's, I think it's the cleric. I think the cleric is the one that like will accept mob drops. For like, uh, for emeralds. Either that, or I go through my like cash reserve that I have set aside specifically for me to go through all this nonsense. But I typically like to make sure though, like in each world, I try to. Do my best to earn some kind of economic growth kind of thing within it. So this one, like sugar cane, all that stuff kind of thing. I want to obtain all that stuff on this world in particular. So I'm not using like old materials. I'm using like ones that you can clearly see like, hey, look, like I was able to obtain all this sugar cane on this world. Like, look at the diff, like, look at the, like, look at the numbers, right? But I mean, if I have like an automatic farm in Sancturia, it's like it doesn't necessarily matter. I'll just use that instead. And either way, I'm thinking of changing Sancturia's look entire, like not entirely, but look a little bit. So the idea was, uh, like, I think it was like, I don't say not too long ago, and make it sound like. Oh yeah, like it was like, you know, yesterday kind of thing, but like before I even I think before even 1.21 came out, I was trying to move the original Reva base island in particular into Sanctuaria, but it never would fit into the area in particular. Like no matter how much I tried, I could never actually get it to uh to work within the area that I wanted. So, what I'm going to do is that I was thinking of extending the island, or not the island, the, uh, the area just a little bit. So, like, if you look at Sancturia real quick, as soon as I fly over there. I really wish there was something to increase the light or flight, but hey, it's fine. 
an enchantment of some sort. So what I'm thinking of doing is that because the area that, th like this ring kind of thing is, I'm thinking of shrinking it down. I already have a shrunk down version in this ring right here. But have it so though, like it's shrunk down onto the bottom area over here, extending it down even further. So though this is like taller in particular. And then what I'm gonna do is that like, I'm going to make it as tall as I need to specifically for the original Reva base island to be stashed there. And then that's going to be where, obviously, I'm going to be uh, stashing the original Reva base, pretty much. Which is just the, the floating island, pretty much. But yeah, look at that. It looks, it looks amazing from down here, though. But like when you look at it from the original world without having like a way to view it at different angles. Yeah, it looks very, it's very odd and weird. But yeah. So that's gonna be it for now. Uh, next time, I am hoping though that we will be able to uh, finish off uh, trying to get to the tricky trials and seeing how that system actually works. So, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for some more Circa Craft.